Hi, I'm Richard, and we're going to talk about how to get you a highly coveted offer to King's College London MSE Finance Programme. Now, I'm a professional admissions consultant, and over the last 10 years, I've had a 92% success rate to this course. That's over three times the average acceptance rate of just 28% for this course. Now, this course requires a high 2-1, that's 65% above in the UK. Realistically, most candidates will be applying with a first class, but it doesn't have to be a first class, unlike the competitor at LSE, which realistically only takes first class now. There is no GMAT requirement of this course, which is huge because it can save you three months plus of preparation. And I'll also point out, it's about two thirds of the cost of the LSE and UCL courses. And there's all sorts of fantastic finance options as well. So really this course applies to a lot of people who might for various reasons, economically or academically, um, find those other courses a little bit out of reach. Now we're gonna go through a handful of tips to help give you the edge in your application. And tip number one is to pick the desk that you will work on in that bank. When applying to a finance degree, think of it really as that stepping stone to your job. You cannot be too specific here. If you talk about wanting to be an FX trader specializing in the MENA region, you have a huge edge over someone who doesn't indicate they really understand what banking is. It doesn't have to be an investment bank, it doesn't even have to be a financial institution, but you need a specific career plan. What is the job title that you're gonna have? And I recommend at least five years after graduation. Typically, candidates I work with will say, immediately after graduation, I intend to do this. Within two years, I'm gonna be promoted, and within five years, I'll either be heading that desk or I'll move into another institution, all of which will have the specific details mentioned. This makes you look like a strong, forward-thinking candidate, the sort of people that Kings want to work with. Now, my second tip is be strategic about your course choice. At 28%, KCL does have a higher acceptance rate, about four times that of the most competitive Oxbridge or American courses. But we can push that even further. Amazingly, there is a 56% chance if you just move from their core corporate finance to their asset pricing finance course. And if the career plan that you have, that specific career plan from tip number one, is in asset pricing, fantastic, match made in heaven, you have a course which lines up to the job that you want. And when you apply to the job, having asset pricing in your title might well give you an advantage over another generic finance course. There are other options too. You can apply for financial analysis at 44% and banking at finance with a 42% success rate. This is big. We're still increasing by nearly 50% more likely to get in just by picking a course that suits you. So be strategic, really look at all the options. I suggest looking at the electives of each one to understand what the differences are. I say to everyone I work with, I want you to imagine you've got into this course, it's day one, now pick the electives you would take because that's how to really understand the difference between this course and any other course. Tip number three, therefore, use that research we've just done and recycle it into your application. At MSc level, you are writing an individual application to each university. So you want to fill it full of specific course titles and modules, who's going to be teaching you, but also other opportunities. What sort of work experiences, international placements, and career support does the university have? Again, be specific. It's not enough just to say, I look forward to working in your careers department. Tell us what they offer, what the opportunity, or maybe even who runs it. It's the specifics that get you into university. Now, that's just three of over 24 tips that we have, each to give you one or two more percent over those competitors, and they really add up quickly. If you're enjoying this video, please do like or subscribe. It really helps us out. More importantly, if you have a question, just comment below. I get back to all the comments which ask questions because we want to help as many people as possible. Tip number four, specific to KCL here, there is a four thousand word character limit that you will be applying for on their portal. Do not use that portal because you can submit an uncapped personal statement. 
and they say up to two pages. Now, I've had candidates use the full two pages, go way beyond, nearly double that 4,000 character limit and still get in. So don't limit yourself. That's not to say more words is always better. It is better to be concise. And I think 800 to 1,200 words, which can be about one to one to one to one and a half pages, is the sweet spot for a well-researched plan. Please do check out the five pillars of a personal statement video, uh, which we linked in the description to help you out also. Our last tip, as always, long track record of mathematical excellence. The GMAT is still fantastic if you're taking it for other courses to drop in here, as is additional courses. There are these brilliant courses. Coursera currently has um, a quantitative maths for financial analysis from UPenn. There's a data analysis course from Columbia. Johns Hopkins has all these other fantastic finance-related courses. If you take one of those courses and get a certificate and put it in your statement, put it in your CV, that's going to really help you to stand out. Because really importantly, you need to show your subject demonstration. Talk about not just the desk you want to work on, but those terms, forwards, futures, swaps and options, Black-Scholes equation and asset pricing. Talk about the specifics of what you want to achieve to make sure that you come across stronger than other candidates. Now, that's just a small number of the tips that we have. There's also an exemplar statement you can sign up for in the description, but the best way to maximize your chances and hit over 90% success rate with your applications is to work with a professional such as myself or one of my amazing team. Information is on screen now. If you'd like to contact us, we'd love to help you to get an offer. Best of luck.